Hi everyone, and welcome to The Good News. My name is Jeff Shively, and I'm your host. This is a show where we bring you three pieces of good news every day from Williamsburg in Brooklyn. Looking out on beautiful New York City. I always do that because I actually want to see it. Because I'll tell you, after being in California, well, the scenery is just as awe-striking as that. It was great to come back here, see that view, and see all the awesome people here. All right, so for those of you who are new to the show, we don't edit this show. Just chop off the front and the back where you basically see me walking to and from the camera. Maybe we'll leave it in there someday. Um, and we just read you three pieces of good news to remind you and to remind me that there's a whole lot of good in the world if we choose to see it and it's worth fighting for. All right, our first story tonight is about a high school football team. And this story, before I get into it, it reminds me that we hear so much bad news about the next generation and how there's, you know, uh, they're not okay and they're on phones and all this stuff but apparently that's a common thing between generations and all of these stories and all these other stories about kids that we're reading and hearing that I wonder maybe maybe is that just sensationalized bad news is the next generation actually okay would we benefit by connecting more with that generation and having empathy and understanding and teaching them the things that we know so that they don't have to make the same mistakes so that we don't get stuck in a cycle of slow learning and mistakes? I think so. All right, anyway, with that in mind, here's an awesome story about more people of the next generation and generation after that. We're doing all right. A high school football team where one of its team members, moms, was diagnosed with cancer. So there's a video, a beautiful video. You can see it on YouTube. If you follow the affair on Instagram, go to YouTube and look in the links below. If uh, you're on YouTube, it's right there. So basically, this football team is doing the football team thing right before going out to the, to the game, to the field. And they're on the locker room. And they tell their teammate, whose mom has cancer, that they're donating all of the proceeds from a fundraiser they, they, they started to his mom, which is beautiful. And then they dedicate the game to his mom. The team takes the field and wins. 41 to zero. How awesome is that? Right before the game, they chanted one, two, three, family, or three, two, one, family. And then after the game, they all get, each team member grabbed a pink rose, gave it to the mom as they passed her walking onto the field. I screwed that one up, walking off of the field. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? And they won 41 to zero. Talk about an illustration of when something has purpose and meaning and people feel safe and secure in a unit, strong relationships, people supporting them. It's really important. And now more than ever that's important because it's so easy to isolate ourselves, to choose isolation, to choose to look at the bad news, to think the world is, there's no hope. Well, there really is. And when we have it, beautiful things happen. We have to choose hope first. We have to choose love for ourselves and love for others first. All right, the next story is about an eight-year-old boy who raised $50,000 in order to make what he's calling hero bags. And these hero bags are duffel bags full of t-shirts and clothing and toothbrushes and toothpaste and a towel for veterans in need. $50,000 this eight-year-old kid raised. How many veterans that's making happy? I don't know the number. I didn't write it down. And I don't remember it because I don't think it was in there. But that's a lot. 50 grand. It's an eight-year-old kid who just cares, who's astounded by the fact that these people are gone without support and need help. Similarly, our next story is about a 10 year old girl in Mount Vernon, New York, not too far from here, named Chelsea Ferry. Chelsea started a charity called Chelsea's Charity. They've only got really a Facebook page, but that's all they need. Chelsea, for her birthday, before she started this charity, en route to founding this charity, 
she told her birthday, she asked her birthday party attendees to bring donations so that she could make art kits. Basically kits full of paint and paint brushes and markers and art so that she could give it to other kids who were, as she says, in difficult circumstances. Kids that can't afford art kits or might not be able to come about them so that they could do art because she says art and these kits are like a healing concoction for me, Chelsea says. And it is, art's powerful. Look at the show, talk about healing. Healing me, healing you, perhaps. She's 10 years old and she is paying it forward like that. Now with the help of her community, Chelsea has a charity and she's making these art kits for kids and distributing them. Awesome. All right, our quote today comes from Dr. Seuss and speaks to all of those things and venturing out, having an open mind and believing there's change, believing there's possibility and adventure in the world. Dr. Seuss says, Oh, the things you will find if you don't stay behind. And with that in mind, and the courage to be kind, I rhyme. In 2020, I hope you get rich, rich in adventure, rich in knowledge, rich in skills, rich in good habits, rich in laughter, rich in health, rich in positivity, rich in strength, rich in gratitude, rich in generosity, and rich in love. In 2020, I hope you get rich. Thank you, Carolina, for that amazing comment grateful to hear that the show brought you joy today as you started your day watching it in bed. Awesome. Thank you for posting the comment. Thank you, Michael and Louisa and your whole family. Thank you for that beautiful card and the awesome mug. Kurt, thanks for helping scout the location. Confirm it was a good one. It was. Kyle, thanks for the location in LA. Going to use that for sure when I go back out there. Allison, thank you for the story last night about Harvey the cow. Beautiful story. Thanks for sending it. And that's our show. Remember, kindness is contagious. And that's the good news. Thanks for watching.